The Grapes of Math by Greg Tang Illustrated by Harry Briggs Fish School Of all the creatures in the sea, a fish is smart as smart can be. While others swim and play it cool, a fish is happy in a school. How many fish are in this class? Answer quick, and you will pass. Here's a hint, a little clue. When counting fish, just look askew. So the fish are in an array here. To help us see this array better, let's turn our heads sideways. Then you can see I have one, two, three, four equal rows. How many are in each row? What multiplication sentence does this make? The Grapes of Math I stroll along a vineyard path, and there I see the grapes of math. Overhead the sun is blazing, soon each grape will be a raisin. How many grapes are on the vine? Counting each takes too much time. Never fear, I have a hunch. There is a match for every bunch. So to help us count these grapes better, let's group them up into groups of ten. Here I have seven blue grapes and three green grapes. Seven and three make ten. So then let's look and see what other groups of ten we can make. So they're all my groups of ten. What multiplication sentence is represented by these groups? Snail Parade One day, while walking through a glade, I came across a snail parade. Rows and rows of snails I spied. How do I count them all? I cried. Don't just group the ones you see. Consider where a snail should be. So the array that we have here is not quite complete with equal rows. However, we can put in some fillers with some imaginary snails to complete the array. So imagining there are some imaginary snails in there, our array is now complete with one, two, three, four, five equal rows. How many are in each row, including those imaginary snails? What multiplication sentence does this represent? Now, take out those three imaginary snails to find out how many total real snails that we have. Ant attack! It's a picnic, the ants all scream. How many ants are, on, are in the scene? Try to count them one by one. Before you finish, they'll be done. Find a square before you count. Soon, you'll see the right amount. So to help us count these total ants, we can spot a square array. Do you see it? We have one, two, three, four equal rows. How many are in each row? What multiplication sentence does this represent? Now let's add on the three extra ants to find out our total number of ants. One hump or two? Rugged camels on the go, despite lack of H2O. They'll trek all day under the sun. Some have two humps, others one. Can you add the humps you see? 
<laughs> Don't just count them one, two, three. To help you find the right amount, group by fives before you count. So we can put these camels into groups to help us make it easier to count the humps. So in this group I see I have two humps, two humps, and one hump. That's five humps. Now you group up the camels into groups of five humps. How many total groups of five humps are there? What multiplication sentence does this make? Sweet cherries. Apples are crabby. Berries are blue. Cherries are sweet. And so are you. How many cherries do you see? Please don't count them separately. Pair the cherries bunch by bunch. Add them quick before their lunch. So, to help us count these cherries, we can group them up into groups of ten. Here I see I have five and five. That makes ten. What other groups of ten do you see? What multiplication sentence is represented by these groups of ten? No dice. Come on, lucky shiny dice. Roll a pair and count it twice. Boxcars, snake eyes, double threes. Can you add up all of these? Before you start, please look around. Adding's fast when tens are found. So, once again, to make this easier to count, let's put these into groups of ten. Right there at the top, I can see he has six and one, that's seven, and then seven and the three make ten. How many total groups of ten can we make? What multiplication sentence does this make? Windows. I lie in bed and try to sleep, counting windows instead of sheep. How many panes are filled with light? Here's a way that's really bright. Don't just count the lights you see. Subtract the rooms where there are Z's. So, including all of the windows, even the ones without the lights on, I have one, two, three, four, five equal rows. How many total windows are in each row? What multiplication sentence does this represent? Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows without light. So let's take the total from earlier and take away those seven windows with the lights off. And that, my friends, is where we will end. Good night.